Okay, so I've now just like brushed kind of the dirt off of him and I'm going to show you his mane and I'm going to show you the product that I use to um, take dreadlocks out of the mane. The tail I did yesterday, there's a video on YouTube that has his tail being treated and that's what it looks like today, the next day. We're going to have to move the camera over to the other side because his mane hangs the other side. And hopefully he'll move everything I'm going over here. Okay, so you can see that, right? That's oof, right? So here's the product. It's called Mainly Long Hair. Um, it's a detangler. It's called the Polish Protector. Uh, I would wear gloves, okay? Like I just, when I demonstrated the tail still being in really good condition since yesterday, I have to get back here else it'll start moving up. Um, the, uh, I ran my fingers through it and I got my hands kind of with like a silky film and then I tried to use my shedding comb and my hand, it just kept spinning in my hand. So you have, you really should, I don't say you have to, you really should wear gloves. So, mainly long hair. I do think you can buy it in different places now. However, I like the people. I've met them. I've seen them multiple times at different uh, events, and I really enjoy talking to them. So, I like to buy it directly from them, even if somebody else is selling it and they're still not losing any money. I like to buy it directly from them. So, the main. I don't know if you can see. That's in sad shape. So, he's got dreadlocks, you see, little whirlies. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just start kind of running my hand through them. Not really trying to do it, I'm not trying to run my hand, like, to separate the dreadlocks. I'm just running my hand through kind of the main, you know. Trying to separate anything. Some, some of this product on it. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention in the tail video, it's extremely pleasant smelling. Okay, so one more dose. That's probably way more than I need. You know, you don't want to go crazy as far as, like, overloading it either. But, like, you know, I'll go ahead and put it up in there. And then, like, here we even have a, a full-on knot. Okay? The, so the knots, you just kind of spend a little, you know, you give a little extra pad, pat to. Um, you can now just, like, go away. And, you know, if you have other horses, you can go ahead and start getting manes and stuff ready on your other horses or tails kind of leave this to kind of set, um, but we're going to stay here. Ooh, how are you even getting, is Logan doing that to your name? Because you can't even get under a fence here. Um, I don't know if my Bluetooth is the mic this time. I didn't double check that I did it that way, so you may actually hear it as it really sounds, because yesterday when I did the tail, my Bluetooth was kind of picking up weird noise, and it was making it sound like I was really raking through his uh, tail, and, you know, I, mean, I wasn't being, like, super careful that I didn't pull any of it out, but I definitely wasn't raking through it as it sounded. So anyway, so, like, now, you know, it's been in here long enough, even, that I can start kind of really, like, working my fingers through it, you know. that knot, just spend a little extra time on that knot. Oops, it's already coming apart, never mind. You know, so see, it's a, it's a full-blown knot. Oh, came apart. So like I said, normally I would have just, I would have already left and gone to, uh, to 
maybe do another horses, you know, set another horse up. I wouldn't have stayed here working it through quite as much as I am right now. Um, but I'm just doing this for the benefit of the video. So you see, he still kind of has his dreadlocks, but you know, he doesn't have that knot anymore, and that's gone. Um, and then, oh, there's a new knot, but oops, look at, you know. So now, you know, now you can start kind of like finding your way into these things and see how easy it is to pull them apart. But I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to actually get a brush. There's even like stuff in that dreadlock, like dirt. No, I'm not, there's no like ripping apart. There's no, you know, it's, it's, it's sliding apart. Okay, so, even his little forelock here, right? Where's that going on there? What's, where's that hair coming from? Is that one hair that's kind of tickling your eye? Like I said, I handled my brush and stuff after I, you know, was managing the stuff anyway. So, curling back up but they're combing through. So it's it's curling back up but it's combed out, you know. It's kinda of hard to see that no detail. So they, they curled back up, but they're not.
early. They're not dreadlocks anymore. Okay. <laughs> Next demonstration I'll do is show you the gadget I use to pull their mane. I don't actually pull their mane. I have a gadget that uh, is done exactly like pulling their mane. The only benefit is, is you don't actually rip the hair out of their head. You can choose to um, shorten it without thinning it out, or um, you can thin it out. If you have, like, I had a pony that had, like him, had really, really thick um, mane. No, 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 Teddy, 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 Teddy. I got all my gloves on. Um, my pony had really, really thick mane, and, uh, you know, so you would trim it. I better just describe that the day I do it, right? You would just trim it up tighter, so... So anyway, in case you weren't here for the tail re-brush, re I'll just show you. It's not been retreated, but I have already brushed through it for a video, so... It hasn't been retreated since yesterday. That's just how easy it still brushes through. The ends are a little dry and dirty from being in the wet today, but so that's that.